Hi guys, welcome back to our another video in which we are going to discuss about uh, digital logic design. So this is subject for EC and EI and the uh, exam is scheduled on 2nd of January, I guess. You correct me if I'm wrong in comments. So before starting this video, I just want to tell you guys, please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, especially EC people, we are bringing, we are doing so hard work in bringing this video for you. Uh, so that it will be easy for you to clear the exams or uh, it will be easy for you in exams and uh, please 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 do like 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 and also subscribe to the channel and guys uh, you are not pressing the bell icon if you press the bell icon you will be notified whenever we upload a new video and uh, you will be notified immediately so that it will be handy for you to watch that video and uh, as it is exam time at least for exam time please press on the bell icon and uh, before starting this video guys i just want to tell you that uh, whatever the content we are presenting in this video may be the important topics or important questions that might come or not in the exam because there is no one who can 100 percent guarantee one uh, complete question paper and some uh, some students are asking in the comments that uh, is it enough to pass the exam or will these actually these questions will come in the exam so it's not like that but we are highlighting the important topics so that it will be easy for you in the exams for while preparing so we are simplifying the syllabus and also questions for you and also guys please watch this video till the end so that you can just uh, go through the previous question paper of digital logic logic and design so coming to our first segment guys it's syllabus now syllabus is a pretty easy uh, there are a lot of topics but uh, every topic is related to each other so now in your unit one you have two topics number systems and boolean algebra if you have uh, seen my previous videos then you will know that whenever such such kind of things are given uh, like number systems and boolean algebra there are two topics here one question from this and one question from this are compulsory in the exam and similarly in the unit two there is minimization of boolean functions and realization of logical gates using diodes and transistors so basically in this you will have boolean functions where you where k maps are important and here you have and not gates using diodes and transistors and the ttl uh, tri-state uh, ttl and etc you will have in unit three again same thing one question from this one question from this combinational logical circuits sorry combinational logic circuits in logic circuits, what you have? Adders, subtractors, comparators, multiplexers, demultiplexers, encoder, decoders, code converters, hazard-free relations. So basically in this multiplexer and demultiplexer are a little important. And uh, sequential circuits fundamental. So basic sequential fundamentals and here you will have uh, the main important things like uh, flip-flop. So in this flip-flop you have SR, JK, JK master slave flip-flop, DN type. DNT. So basically, a master slave flip flop will have a master and a slave acting together, and excitation tables of uh, flip flops, etc. etc. You can just uh, and also uh, you will have things like conversion from one type of flip flop to another. And uh, unit four, you have shift registers. For shift registers, you have left, right, bi directional, and uh, applications of those, and also operations of synchronous and asynchronous counters. So one is from registers. So shift registers, a question based on that might appear or a question might on counters. Uh, basically, those are operations of synchronous and asynchronous counters. Okay, now the second topic in which a compulsory question would be sequential machines. In sequential machines, finite state machines, finite state machines, synthesis of synchronous circuits, serial adder, binary adder, parity bit generator, synchronous model of encounters, etc, etc. And uh, unit 5, you have finite state machines, capability, limitations, and in this also, Mealy and Moore models are important, and uh, also synthesis of SIC fundamental mode circuits and introduction to ASM charts. ASM charts are really important in this. So, we'll get tips to pass again. Uh, prepare three chapters perfectly, perfect in the sense question given in whichever topic you might you should be able to attempt that. Focus on short questions. Short questions gives you 4 to 5 marks which will help you in reducing the pass marks. Maybe 21 is your pass mark. So if you write 4 to 5 questions then uh, you might get 4 to 5 marks if you attempt all those. And then your passing mark, I mean like in part B you need to score only 16. If you are focusing on 
because in JNTUH getting the passing mark becomes a primary thing rather than focusing on scoring. Scoring would I would say that would be secondary but try to pass and you need to prepare a uh, unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because again saying the simple thing these things will be I mean like one unit is connected to another and vice versa and the problems are ma partially mandatory uh, what does mean by partially mandatory partially mandatory means one or two problems might appear okay in the whole five units five units low maybe you might get one five marks problem or else two five marks problem that's it not more than that so you don't need to worry about that coming to important topics unit one so what do you have codes what are weighted codes non-weighted codes and what are the properties Hamming code so basically it is a uh, weighted code or not you have to decide and digital logic gates xor gate it's got it's written here but it's xor gate basic theorems and properties nand or non-realization so basically we'll check this what are basic theorems what they appear nand or non-realizations in this important question so you can check with the important questions so guys if you want uh, all subject important questions you can download exam update app which is free on uh, play store and uh, you can just go through it so convert the following into binary so basically these questions might appear in short uh, what are 24 uh, 24 uh, decimal and uh, 30 0 0.5 18 uh, 10 10 so sorry 12 15 so you have to just convert this into binary so basic um, i have given what are logic gates explain all logic gates with their two tables so that's an easy question that's a basic question and uh, basic gates uh, add 96 and 86 in xs3 form xs3 form is also so easy so these are the basic and you can just uh, take a screenshot pause the video take a screenshot so that it will be handy for your exams Important topics in unit 2, Carnot map or up to 5 variables, K map up to 5 variables. It will be a little lengthy. You need to draw a table uh, for 5 variables which is a really headache but uh, fine. Uh, because uh, if they have given up to 5, 5 variables then that question will appear for 10 marks directly. And or not get using diodes and transistors, TTL NAND gate, TTL driving, CMOS and CMOS driving, TTL. So this was the important topics. And important questions you have RTL logic, CMOS driving TTL, realize NAND gates using TTL logic, McClose method and a problem on it, uh, explain TTL method. So this is a fan in fan out. So these are the basic important questions you will have from the unit 2. So again I am telling that it's not necessary that these only these questions might appear in the exam. There might be a lot of different uh, factors. For preparing a question paper so you need to prepare accordingly multiplexers and e multiplexers are important from unit 3 encoders and decoders code converters so if you are if you are enjoying this video and if you are finding this useful video useful then please go and like this video and also if you can share this video in your college group so that it will reach majority of the students and uh, please 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 ask them to watch this video so distinctions are between combinational and sequential circuits then there are flip flops and then there is sr latch sr sr jk jk master slave master slave i'm sorry uh, that's a slip of a tongue master slave and uh, dnt type flip flops conversion from one type to another type flip flop for example sr flip flop we need to convert into jk or jk we need to convert into sr how you will show this you will show you will show with the examples of truth tables and truth tables should be drawn with the pencil so better you carry pencil to the exam pencil and scale are mandatory for this exam important questions you can see construct a full adder using two half adders which is really easy explain jk master slave flip flop with truth table see again truth table right what you'll do you'll use pencil explain rs flip flop with truth table the last question you can see explain encoder give an example of it Explain conversion of RS flip flop, SR flip flop into JK and D flip flop. Here you have to convert SR flip flop. First, you need to write SR flip flop. You need to draw the truth table of SR flip flop. Now you are converting it to, to JK flip flop and then write again subheading of JK flip flop into D flip flop. And you need to proceed like that with your answer. Now, coming to important topics of unit 4. So, unit 4 are basically these are two things one is registers and one is counters 
Synchronous counter is serial adder binary adder. You can just see so design and operation of ring and twisted counter a synchronous sorry synthesis of a synchronous uh, sequential counters parity bit generator and asynchronous and synchronous counters as we discussed in the earlier slide here are the important questions from unit 4 so guys if I if you feel that I am going a little fast you can just take a screenshot use this use these things and also if you want uh, more important questions you can download exam update app which is available on play store I'm reiterating this again and again so it will help you in the exams what are different types of shift register design shift register using jk flip-flop sequential circuit and problem on it explain 4-bit universal shift register explain operations of 10-bit ring counters and these are the questions now coming to the unit 5 mainly more mainly more models correct me if i am wrong i am uh, telling that uh, merger merger graphs introduction to AM, asm chart synthesis of sic fundamental mode circuits and here also you can see the important questions so you can take a screenshot keep it for keep it with you so it will be handy for you now coming back coming to our last segment which is previous question paper here you can see from unit 1 they have asked one uh, problem type kind of i think subtract the following from two's complement 101 two's complement and 101 i guess sorry one triple one in two's complement what are the applications of xor gate you can write two applications that are more than enough simplify boolean function using k map define dctl you just need to define this what is this implement half adder using nor gates show the excitation table and truth table of t flip flop so you need to highlight this excite table so half mark for excite excitation table half mark for truth table if you don't know any one of this you can just draw the truth table you will get half mark draw the circuit of SIPO shift register okay what are the advantages and disadvantages of serial, serial binary adder so you can uh, highlight two advantages and two disadvantages what are hazards define hazards and define ASM chart so basically these are the short questions so again I am iterating that short questions are really important for you try to answer maximum and try to start your answer paper with part A only when this is simplified you will get more and more confidence while writing part 2 sorry part b so in part b in second unit express the following numbers in decimal this is a problem kind of a thing and again draw the multiple level nand circuit for the following expression and uh, generate the hamming code for data 1101 as we discussed in the first slide where we have uh, discussed about important topics and in important topics we have discussed about hamming code State and true De Morgan's law and associate law. So associate law is really easy. De Morgan law is closely a look alike like an associative law, but uh, you can just uh, focus on these things if you want. Minimize the following expression using K map, K map again, and describe TTL logic and NAND gate working as a TTL working as a NAND gate. Again here K map again CMOS logic. So if you observe here, you have K map and TTL logic here you have KMAP and CMOS logic okay so prepare accordingly design a full adder using 4 1 max max is a multiplier okay multiplier 4 into 1 we call it as a 4 into 1 or 4 by 1 uh, max uh, a D max is a D multiplier so here he, here is asking about multiplier explain about nor lash in need gate and design a 4 bit binary parallel adder subtractor convert sr flip flop into d where so we have discussed converting one flip flop into other here he has asked sr flip flop into d flip flop design a four bit synchronous counter with d flip flop and explain it explain synchronous module modulo phi counter design and explain johnson counter explain parity bit generator again whenever we when we were discussing in fourth unit and also in important questions we have highlighted about parity bit generator and explain asynchronous design modes of operation a compare Morley and Morley models so one question from Morley and Morley models draw the diagram of mainly type FSM so we have discussed FFM, SFM, FSM charts and uh, one question is here explain synthesis of SIC fundamental mode circuits we have discussed this in important topics again SIC fundamental mode so you don't need to worry guys this is a most easiest subject so that uh, uh, you can clear easily and there is nothing much to do just understand what are uh, 
logic gates and how you apply into flip flops how you apply this into counters how you apply that into uh, registers and uh, moreover truth tables are also important so you can just check with that guys and uh, also before ending this video i just want to tell you if you have not subscribed please 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 do subscribe to this channel as uh, we need your support and motivation to make new new more videos for third years as well for b pharmacy as well and uh, please uh, if you support now i can able to make more and more videos and uh, please please do like this video also guys and uh, so i'll meet you in the next video until then all the best for your exam and uh, thank you uh, take care write exam well and let me know how you are writing the exams in the comment section thank you